Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's day 13, and it looks like I've got four more to go. Hopefully, hopefully I will be able to finish this. Perhaps this part, maybe? I don't know. I guess we're gonna see. Since this is a five-star one, I'm guessing it is going to be pretty dang hard. Perhaps, I'm not sure, but I guess the only thing to do will be to see. I think the only trouble I'm going to have here is the um, box part near the end, you know, where, where all the boxes pop up out of nowhere, and I almost got Koopa'd right there, that would have been an issue, but uh, I think I'm making pretty decent time so far, and I'm not having too many issues. This is the part. Because, yeah, I think in order to make it through that, I'm going to have to run and jump across those large gaps because of the fact that I don't think you will have enough time to wait for them in this 80 second run here. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I well, I, I guess I could give it a shot and see if I uh, will be able to make it after all. I'm sure they have some let in the time, like I'm able to wait there and stuff like that, probably. Although that uh, one was pretty tight that one time, so, ooh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do here. Maybe I will be able to wait this out, maybe I won't. I'm not sure, because I know this is near the end of the level, so it might, I'm gonna take the lower row here. <laughs> So it might be able to, yeah, I might be able to wait for it just a little bit. I'm not so sure about that, oh boy, but I, this is the furthest I've made it, but I've only got a few seconds to go, oh jeez, seven, eight, nine, ah, I was really close, so maybe I have to speed up some sections somewhere along the line. In order to bypass, well, not bypass the block part, to get a little bit more time for that block part, but I could tell I was really close to the end there. <laughs> All right, focus until the end. You can do it, PK Gam. You will be able to win. You must have confidence. Oh, that's not confident. <laughs> that is a possible. Ex no, I was gonna, I was gonna like, say exploit there, but. I mean, that jump there is definitely possible uh, if you don't use the blocks and, you know, if you normally you'd have to wait for the blocks to go up and then jump over ye old Koopa there and whatnot, but I might actually, oh no, 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 oh shoot, that's burning more time. Oh, that's burning too much time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that jump is possible to get high enough on that Koopa if you like triple jump, like anticipate the jump and then triple jump to it. Oh, jeez. I tried, but I failed. Well, I could skip ahead a little bit there if I wait for the blocks to go into the old poison swamp. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> you never know. I mean, you probably can because I'm guessing the gold is pretty much you having to run to the end as fast as humanly possible. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they would they wanted you to use like secrets to ugh, to get like shortcuts and whatnot in places. Like remember how you're able to speedrun um, World 1 1 in Mario 1 faster if you were to take the warp pipe? Or not the warp pipe, the secret pipe. Uh, than if you were to just play the stage normally without taking stuff. Like, for all I know, maybe that pipe up there would be the faster route forward. You know, oh, like, no, that pipe actually takes you back to that one just a little bit up up above your head. I, I missed that. I mean, I uh, didn't notice that. But I think you get what I mean here in that, it, in that some of the gold ranks might be dependent on you... Uh, finding some super special secret in order to get past some stuff, and yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to totally flub that jump. Dang it! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the way it's done, baby. Now, I can't screw this up. <laughs> I cannot screw this up. 
but that's the way that I'd save time there, otherwise the rest of my run was pretty basic there, and oh my god, I have so much more time this time. Just look at the clock! <laughs> yeah, that block portion was the thing that was getting me there. Oh, Alright, one down, three to go. Bronze, of course, but I didn't really take much time to learn the stage and see if I can get a faster time, of course, because as I said, I'm only doing these to the point that uh, I get the medals and whatnot, so let's swing into action! Oh wait, this is the one that had that ridiculously annoying secret exit, isn't it? You know, the one that you had to fly up into the heavens to get, that was, that was completely unmarked. Yeah, that one, and this is definitely the one. This is a really easy stage though, so I don't see myself having too much issue with this one. Because you, there's so many chains around the area and this, the platforms are so wide that everything's like a non-issue. <laughs> So this might be a, uh, oh shoot, it might be a one run level here so I won't have to worry. Oh, and that's definitely a confirmation that there are no power-ups in these stages. And you notice that block, that big block there that used to have a, like, ugh, roulette block of sorts. Bad time to dance there, Koopa. Very bad time to dance. Although it, it kind of worked in the ugh, enemy's favor and I was trying to cut corners there because I was worried about the time and yeah, you get the idea. Oh, though I only have 75 seconds to get to the end, so maybe this will be a little trickier than I thought. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to have to be a little bit more efficient than I was last time. I know the stage a little bit better. Only I'm going to fail a little bit earlier. <laughs> I need to take advantage of that little floaty jump more like that, if anything. Because that's very, very helpful in saving time. And the lower road I'm fine with there. It doesn't seem to take any longer or... Oh, dang it. It doesn't seem to take any longer or uh, shorter than the upper route would because I'm not really, like, cutting any corners or anything like that. It's just still one very straight route. It's just I'm jumping over enemies as opposed to avoiding the ceiling hop. And uh, I don't like that spot. It really slows you down. But I'm doing pretty decently. Just do not extend your heads, my piranha buddies. And do not dance, Koopa. <laughs> oh, this... Oh, jeez. This spot is excessively annoying. <laughs> Go. Up. And hurry. Ah, I didn't have enough time because I could just tell. But it's funny that the silver is really close to the bronze. <laughs> okay, let's give this another run. I have no other choice. <laughs> but I think I see why this one is a uh, five star level here because of the fact that the timing is so tight on stuff. Mm, oh, geez, I totally missed that and I probably ruined the run, but I suppose I have a chance to get it back, because there is some way to get the gold, I'm sure. <laughs> but, see, I do wonder how you would, because there's just so much stuff in your way. <laughs> All things considered, I suppose I can, hmm. That is a possible jump when the platform is up higher. <laughs> I really don't know at this point, but I do know that I've got to keep my momentum going forward and do not stop for anything. But it's a matter of figuring out what's the most efficient way to, to do things. That is certainly not the most efficient thing, <laughs> efficient way to do things, but yeah, I'm just trying to think about the other parts and how I can do them a little bit faster. You'll notice that when you go up hills, you tend to move a little bit slower than you would, oh shoot, than you would normally, so... And you might actually even move a little bit faster when going downhill, so... It might be worth doing that. <coughs> it might be worth uh, running down hills and then jumping up hills like that, if anything, maybe. I'm kind of unsure about that myself. And I wonder if there's any way to get a tad more efficient with things. Oh god. 
See, it's... It's a matter... The reason why you get into so much trouble is because you're rushing through the stage, and I think that is the challenge of these time stages, because you have to rush through it, and then you have to figure out the challenges. Otherwise, as you know, this stage, as I showed you before, is a very straightforward and easy stage, except for finding that one secret. That one secret was dumb. <laughs> Alright, I think that was actually where the secret was. Where that uh, hole I said it was when I just passed it. Go Luigi! Go Luigi! You're making decent time, I think. <laughs> I just wonder if there's faster ways to do things. There might be, like, hidden secrets and stuff. Oh, jeez, I flopped that terribly. Um, go over all of them! No, not the ring! <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't hit mean to hit the ring, but... <sighs> uh, triple jump helps there to get over them, but... And there's this spot, and then you get you hit kind of a roadblock. Wait, 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 maybe I've got this, maybe I've got this, oh yeah! Oh yeah! I guess I saved enough time that run. I actually uh, had a worse first section as uh, after the midpoint st part where I normally get stuck by that one spot that I said it was really slow. I was at 40 seconds at that point rather than the 38 I had before, but I just did things a little bit more efficiently. That run, I suppose. All right, stone slide tower climb. Oh wow, this one could be really interesting because you have these blocks to deal with and move to get up. And don't you have to beat the boss at the end too? Uh, I wonder if there's going to be some sort of trick to getting up there in 90 seconds. Especially when you've got these guys in your way. Mm, maybe I'll just be... Oh, shoot. I'll be able to get past this and, like, without that, I might be able to skip certain switches. If I am lucky... Oh, no. <sighs> I have to use that switch down there, don't I? And I've probably wasted too much time. Oh, wait a second. I actually have to go up and around. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, do I have enough time to finish? Probably not. But it is a matter of figuring out the stage, I suppose. And I should be able to get away with doing it like that. That's not going to work, though. <laughs> Alright. Try it again. Looks like I won't be able to finish all of the stages this part, but that's okay. I'll just uh, do the last stage in the next part and then start the coin challenges or whatever the heck they are. When I get there, I'm not sure exactly. That part is not too bad. I mean, this first portion here, it's, it's learnable. So, although I wonder if it's faster to use the switch down there, because maybe it'll actually move these blocks ahead of time. I don't know, but I'm definitely doing a lot better this run than I was in the other one, so I'm just going to... WHAT?! Well, I'm going to die, that's for sure, but... Uh, it worked the first time. Uh, not having a good run here, but here's the second part. Oh uh, boy, and I died on that same skeleton again, didn't I? Yeah, I'm making decent time, I suppose. Well, let's see if I can continue this speed. Oh yeah, got a little bit better there, I guess. Um, um. <laughs> Hmm... This is a tricky stage to do quickly, that's for sure. <laughs> because you have... It makes you wonder... Ah, uh, there, there goes the run. But I don't think I had it anyway, because I had... Yeah... A lot of time there. <laughs> I mean, I used a lot of time, but I don't get... How I'm supposed to shave seconds off of it. When I'm supposed to... Well, it says reach the goal ring, so... Maybe the stage doesn't continue much more after that point. 
And I'll show you what I've got so far in terms of uh, time improvements. I mean, I'm, you might be able to skip some of this stuff with wall kicks, but otherwise I've been just doing this and it's okay, I suppose, but there might be be a better way to do it if you squeeze through stuff. This you absolutely have to go around. I tried the other switch, it doesn't move these things ahead of time, so you have to do it like that, and ah, why did you have to get up on there? <sighs> well, I'm making a little bit better time than I was the other times, but still... Uh, but still, it's a lot, it could be a lot better. Like here... No! I forgot about those! Uh, I tried the wall kick and it failed me. Well, there's this section I could possibly... Well, I'm still making okay time, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna move all these as far as I can, so I have as much time as possible. Maybe I will be able to... No, wow, there's so much more stage to go. Okay, I think I got a run that is worth showing here. Well, providing that I can live commentate over it. <laughs> I I noticed that you can't skip past certain sections with wall kicks, but others you can. Just by, like that, like without having to worry about the jumps, and I might actually be able to wall kick up there. If I was a little bit more efficient, but I wasn't. However, that is just another option, I'm just saying. Uh, you might possibly be able to triple jump into that pipe. I'm not sure about that, actually. Anyway, I'm at 43 seconds. I have... I mean, I'm over half the time already. Yes, okay. Just gotta keep up the speed. And I don't like how those buzzy beetles slow down at that point as I move these blocks up. Because they're not in a really good position then as I'm trying to move forward. But it's all a matter of figuring out the problems, I suppose. Um, ah, come on. Is that 82? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. How much more do I have to go? Oh, man. <sighs> Gonna have to wall kick up that section for sure, but I should probably start up the left side. But that's basically the run that I was going for there, except with less mistakes. <laughs> that's the furthest I've ever got, as you can see, based on the... Uh, the time that I did everything there. And yeah, so let's do another run and hope for the best. I really wish there was more ways to skip stuff. Maybe it would be better to hit that switch just so I can move the block out of the way and use the wall kick section off to the left to actually get more time or something. I'm not sure, to be honest. But do not let those blocks touch where that um, dry bones is because he'll get in your way, and that's quite a problem. Oh, I'm actually making better time than I was before. Shoot! No, I'm not. Ah. Well, I might be able to make it up with some clever wall kicks of sorts. See, the um, spike tops there are out of position now because I was taking so much time, but although, that does kind of work in my favor. Oh, shoot. That was not my plan. I wanted to do that. And that, and get up the left side. Go, 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 go. And I screwed it up. <laughs> it's gotta be open wider. Oh man, I'm so close. I can feel it. Because all, all they want me to do is hit a ring and... Yeah. Alright. So let's... <sighs> Give it the old... I was going to say college try, but this isn't college. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do it. That's an easy way to skip that section right there. I don't know if it's possible to wall kick up that spot there because that dry bones is really in your way and why did I do that? <laughs> I'm starting to lose focus and I can't lose focus on something like this. Just go, 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 go. But you still have to think about what you're doing otherwise. I'm actually making better time this time. How is that? How is that possible? Well, since I'm making even better time, I should the theoretically be able to get to the end of this. Although those spike tops are going to get in my way. <laughs> but I just 
can't fathom what it would take to get the gold on this sucker. Oh, I absolutely have to use this, don't I? Oh, man. There's a block there. Now I gotta get to the other side. Go, 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 go. In the pipe. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get a ring. Yes! I actually made it! Woo! Yeah! And with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next part. After we see their results screen here. Yeah, I figured it'd be a bronze, but... How would one get the gold on that? Holy crap. <laughs>